Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, nutrition, amazing people, and wonderful events. Today I'm joined by an amazing woman, uh, Christine Egan. Welcome, Christine. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Christine Egan is a massage therapist. So how did that all begin? Well, <clears throat> back in college, I was... I, I've been playing soccer since I was young, and I tore my ACL, and mm -hmm. when I was going through therapy and all, I met a massage therapist, mm -hmm. and I was either, I knew I wanted to help people, right. so I was either going to do massage or maybe physical therapy, and I took the route of massage therapy. And that's what you did. And that's what I did. And uh, I wanted you on the show because when I came in for a massage, uh, I could see that you're extremely experienced and in tuned, and your environment at Sarah's House of Health is extremely serene and tranquil. And I felt that I could just like relax and escape um, just to another place and just release all my tension. That's that's how you feel when you walk into Sarah's House of Health. It's just everybody says it's just they walk in they're like, ah, this is a nice, yeah. relaxing place to be. It, no, yeah. it absolutely is. I agree. So um, I'm very curious, what is the difference between a Swedish massage and a deep tissue massage? A Swedish massage mostly is, um, mostly like on the top, you know, it's topical. It's not as deep. Okay. And what the Swedish, Swedish is good. It doesn't matter if you're getting a light massage or, you know, deeper, right. Right. you know, everybody has their own preferences. Sure. But sure. when I do a deep tissue, I use more of my elbows, forearms. Okay. You're really getting into the muscle structure itself and, right. and getting some knots out and just cleaning everything, you know, sure. pushing everything out. So sure. Wonderful. And then with the, the deep tissue, what kind of people would be benefited by uh, Swedish versus deep tissue? A lot of people with a lot of knots, knots. Yeah. <laughs> stress, athletes, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it, it all depends over, the, you know, so many years of me doing this, uh -huh. it's a personal preference. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like to, that deeper pressure, which right. is fine. You benefit right. it, you benefit from it, whether sure. you're doing deeper or just you know superficial light stuff. Sure, sure, absolutely. <clears throat> and um, how does it exactly work with massage? How does it help us? There's a mechanical response, mm -hmm. which is obviously as you're massaging people, you're getting the blood flow going. You're getting mm -hmm. all the lymphatics, you know, system. You're helping out the lymphatic system. Sure. You're cleaning everything out. Right. You're just helping all the, you know, you're helping your body. You're helping your skin even, you know, right. doing this. Right. You know, and then Absolutely. there's the relaxation part. Who's right. not stressed out these days? Who, you know, who needs sure. to relax? We all need to sure. take care of ourselves and just... Take some time and get a massage. Right? No, absolutely. <laughs> and as well, you go to the home for people. I, I do travel home. I started out way back when I first started just going to people's houses. Uh -huh. You know, I've worked at many different spas with chiropractors and all sure. that kind of thing, you know. But sure. now I have the office too, but right. I still go to people's houses when they need me. Yeah. You were telling me a story about a little boy you're working yep, with. Yeah, I've been working with a, a little boy that has CP uh -huh. and I go so to start... his house. Yep. Yeah. It's cerebral. Right. Cerebral palsy. Right. And... Right. I've been working now with him for six months, and, and it's really, it's benefiting him a I'm lot, sure it is. You know, and it's nice I'm for me sure to go to their is. house so they don't have to take him, you know, travel. Right, So right. it's easier. Yeah, and I, what I felt was very interesting is you do all kind of specializations. You, uh, you're you gifted because you custom design each massage for each individual, and you're a phenomenal listener. You really listen and you're in tune with each person's individual needs and who they are before they even enter your space. Um, can you tell me why it would help someone prenatal as far as massage? Because I thought that was extremely well, interesting you shared. Prenatal, you should know right. what's going on with mom and the baby. Right. You know, a lot of people, a lot of massage therapists you know, are right. anxious about working on moms, but sure. they need to relax too because the whole body's changing. Right. The relaxing that, that comes, you know, that we produce sure. when we're having kids. Yeah. You know, just your muscle structure changes. Mm -hmm. So you, you kind of need to know what's going on with mom, you know, to give them a better massage and know how to make them comfortable and, you know, and relieve right. their stress and anxiety because, you know, when you're a first time mom, yeah. It's, you know, it's stressful. <laughs> and yeah, it's a wonderful way, though, to be able to get some kind of form of physical activity, but also feel relaxed. That's so, what I think mostly, you oh, know. Yeah. I mean, I've had wonderful moms, you know, that have had back issues mm -hmm. from the beginning, even before they got 
you know, right. pregnant. So right. I've helped a lot of, you know, you've helped, just, you've yeah, helped with that. even when they're pregnant, it doesn't matter. You know, they still need a massage no, too. It's, you know? it's wonderful. And you also work specifically with sports medicine or sports massage. A sports massage. Yep. That's How, you what add, kind of people would that help? You add, you know, more towards athletes, you know, it's more of like runners, Mm -hmm. You do a little more stretching, more stretching involved, mm -hmm. or a specific area you can concentrate on. Okay. You know, I do that All for right. regular people too. You, you know, too. Frozen shoulders, arthritis, you know. Arthritis. Any, yep. Any kind of condition. Wonderful. Whiplash. I mean, think about everybody who gets in car accidents. It's right. not, it's just not to just relax. It's right. more to take care of common, you know, sure. every day <laughs> sure. stuff that we go through, you know. And it actually helps the lymphatic system, right? It actually moves it around. So yeah, especially on your legs, because the lymphatic system relies on your legs to push everything, you know, up mm -hmm. and out. Mm -hmm. So it's just an added tool, so to say, to just clean out your body. Exactly. And a lot of people aren't aware of that. They right. think that just by, I know with my patients over the 25 years as an RD, that people think physical activity is just in terms of possibly anaerobic, which is, you know, lifting weights, right. or aerobic, which is cardiovascular, which is either working out in a gym or dancing or, or running. But also actual massage, if done right, which you do, it actually, you feel tired afterwards. You've really moved your body. Yes. Right? Both right. voluntarily and involuntarily? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> so what other kind of groups do you help, Christine? I, I just added experience? hot stones now at Sarah's. Yeah. we So I do hot stone massage. And that's... Okay. What is that What you for? do is you... Um, it's like a big cooker. Right. And you put these nice basalt river stones in it. Right. You heat them up. Right. And instead of using my hands, you use the stones. Uh -huh. So this kind of... People who don't like being touched, so to say... Sure. This is a good, it's a nice relaxing, it's detoxing, it detoxes right. your body from the heat. Right. And it just feels good. It feels so it's good. A, it's another way of, you know, another Means. tool, yeah. Sure. To add to, to my to practice. To diversify. Yeah, exactly. So tell me what happens to someone, in, in, just for my viewers, because I've experienced it, what happens if they come into your your lovely place, your Well, serene, what I've learned of all these years of doing this, mm -hmm. um, everybody's, not criticism, but well, a lot of people get massages and mm -hmm. they say, you know, I like the massage, but they just didn't specify, you know, they didn't do what I really wanted them to do. Right. So I've always taken that into consideration. Right. So from the moment you step in, whatever you need worked on, even if it's just your, I don't know, your arm for an hour or your, you know, your back sure. for an hour, right. that's what I do. Right. You know, I don't do the fluffy, okay, let's just go through the motions here. Yeah. You know. It, you target it. And, I target, and you, yep. Your questionnaire also is extremely thorough. My, as my far as, yeah, very, very good. Because uh, sometimes people can't communicate and sometimes we're trying to be in tune with body language and what's going on. But by facilitating such an extensive questionnaire, you're able to address so many different areas at so many different levels in terms of where pain could come from. And people and forget address. too. Yeah. They get on the table and like, oh, I forgot to write, you know, but right. things could be important, you know. Oh, yeah. To make I, sure that was... they're they're able, to, no, no country to take contraindications yeah. of, you know, if something's really going on, that they right. shouldn't receive a massage. So. No, absolutely. And you, you came originally that. from the school, from Atlanta. I went to Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> I was very young. I wanted to experience, you know, out of state. I was 24. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. And of course, I kind of knew they were, you know, I'd have to do some stuff for New York. I knew I had to get licensed. And mm -hmm. I ended up mm -hmm. another year at the Swedish Institute in wow. New York City wow. just to finish up some hours and get some stuff done. And wow. I finally got licensed. But I did get my Connecticut license right away. You did? I'm nationally certified. It's good to know. Take it. Yep. Yeah, we got to keep up uh, continuing at hours right. to keep that going. So Our dues have that too. It's a big, it's a big deal. So it I, is. I try to keep that. Mm -hmm. And that's good. And that keeps you abreast of any kind of new trends. Or What is the newest thing that's coming about in terms of massage? Oh, the CBD oil. Yeah. Yep. The CBD we oil. Use, yeah. Yep. We use... Um, excuse me, Hepworks mm -hmm. at Sarah's. And what mm -hmm. I do is I take the cream and I add a couple drops. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the benefits topically of right. the CBD oil, which helps with inflammation, right. stress, right. anxiety, pretty much everything. But uh, to relax at least, you. yeah, at least I'm rubbing the lotion into you. So the skin mm -hmm. will just absorb it and it'll get into the bloodstream. And yeah work that way. Well, I've had uh, many massages. I've had massages as an RD. I've had as nutritionist, even I, I love to run. And I also love to uh, just work out or just mindful meditation. 
And what I noticed with you is you're extremely gifted in terms of your ability of working with your hands. I don't know what the term is called, but you were able to really address my situation with a uh, massage and a manipulation that clearly worked in terms of uh, where it needed to facilitate. Some people as massage is just lovely and relaxing, but it's not really functional in terms of what it can do. I think the um, best massage therapists are very intuitive mm -hmm. and you just follow what your hands are getting, you know, just, you just got to go and just feel what you're feeling and go right. with your intuition. <laughs> That's but it. You do have a great deal of experience. What is your favorite kind of oil to use? I like cream. I'm cream. Like an oil girl. Right. <laughs> I, I like cream. cream. I use a, Bi it's a company called Biotone oh. Herbal Select. Uh -huh. I have switched off to a, another uh, cream called Silk. Uh -huh. I use that for the aromatherapies because sure. there's no scent in them if right. people are allergic That's to scents. That's why I'm scents. asking you. Yeah. So, right. yeah. yeah. I mean, I do, um, when you come in for a massage, I diffuse aromatherapy, mm -hmm. your choice of whatever mood you're feeling and mm -hmm. what you want to smell that you know, day you come in. Yep. Just to set the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And it works. It, and it, it works. definitely works. So in terms of, for my viewers, what other kind of groups do you help with massage? You indicated about sports, prenatal. I do the sports prenatal, hot stone, um, reflexology, I know. I can do that. Wonderful. Um, Which is I very... work with older clients. I work with younger clients. I, can, right. I work on kids. I work, you know. Do work you, on everybody. <laughs> you, work on, you work with kids in terms of, um, I had read uh, a lot of articles and because I work with kids that are, have ADD, ADHD or on the spectrum um, with have IEPs. And I read articles in terms of how massage can help, help them. in terms of the process of focus something. and concentration. Yeah. Is that true? It is true. I just saw something at the yeah. Yeah, in one of my journals, yeah, the massage journal. That said, yeah. Yep. The studies are showing that. Yeah. Just Make recently. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. make them in tune in terms of their uh, focus and concentration. Yeah. I see the wow. I see more of the younger kids, me athletes, that are just over, just over using Overdone. their muscle. Yeah, it's not good. Sure, too much. No, absolutely too much. Yeah. Well, I I have to thank you so very much oh, for you're being welcome. here. Thank you so you much know, for having so me. You're so gifted, Christine. <laughs> thank you. And I have to set up for another massage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Me too. Uh, remember when you eat well and feel great. Um, and you want something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, eat well. Keep balanced. Moderation is key. Thank you so much. Have a good night.